Yo, yo, what's happening? Y'all know what it is, your boy Just Mario. Uh, got some free game for y'all today, you know, for people uh, looking to get their they own tags or just just need, need information to know how to move in the business. This is going to be the first video I'm going to drop on actual steps you need to take. It's one of the steps, not the beginning step, but this one of the steps. So I'm going to try to take y'all by the hand and start showing y'all how to do some of this. It's free. So since I'm getting you free game, I'm going to need y'all to uh, hit that like button, subscribe, share, hit the bell, the whole nine. Y'all go ahead and show me some love. I done done a lot for a lot of people. I ain't asked for no money. Just hit the like button and subscribe and share. Let's get it. So look, I can't show y'all everything, but to open my account, my IRP account for my apportion tags, that's what it's gonna cost me. So I'm at the uh and that's in Louisiana. So I'm at the DMV now. I'm about to head to the bank. Got to bring them 1300 and I'll show y'all what I did. So here we go. I got my new tags. Oh, slide it down. Without doing too much. Got Louisiana tags so I can send them the Indiana tags back. So, uh, all right, let's move on to the next thing. I don't want to show y'all too much. All right, so here's my cab card. Louisiana portion registration cab card. It's got my account number on there, which that's the account number they assigned me today. Fleet, let's see if I can show you it's only one vehicle. Bam, for now, only one. And then name of uh, registrant is my LLC name. So let's move on. So it show you how long it's good through, which is October 2nd, 2020 to September 30th, 2021. I don't want to put y'all in my business on the other stuff, but uh, it show all the states I can run in and Providence. So that's on my cab court. Now let me show you how you apply for this. Let's get down to the good part. So when you fill this up, you don't put an account number there because you don't have one yet. Fleet, one vehicle. Uh, name of your LLC. If you have one, if not, you put your name, your address, and all that. You'll be the contact person. And, you know, we don't have counties in Louisiana. We have parishes. So, all right, you move over here. If you don't have... A LLC with a tax ID number you will use your social so you have your name and your social all right and you know the company you lease to so if you use an LLC put your LLC information address contact person telephone number blah 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 EIN over there whatever company you're gonna be leasing to or if you're running your own authority put your DOT number there you're gonna put original and you're gonna put hall for hire. Check that. All right, sign and print at the bottom. Next, we're gonna go, same thing, you know, account number, they gotta assign you one. Fleet number one, Ohio many vehicles you bring it on. Uh, weight group, 80,000, whatever your truck number is, your VIN number, the year of your truck, uh, your make of your vehicle, type because it's going to be tractor if you run the semi if it's a hot shot you're just going to put truck how many axles three axles semi combined axle five axles semi fuel type you'll put a d there for diesel unladen weight is about 18,000 for a semi 185 something like that combined weight 80,000 how much you pay for the vehicle the name of the person who owns the equipment and the purchase date that you bought it. Name of the leasee. Same thing. Uh, you know, whatever your company name is. 
DLT number or MC number or the company you lease to or your own tax ID number. Same thing, name of uh, motor carrier. And if you have tax, and yes, if you got 2290 uh, in a lease agreement. So this last page, that's if you add. And if you're deleting, you'll do the same thing. Delete a vehicle. All right. Last page don't need to be filled out. You only fill this out when you're renewing uh, your cab card for the following year. All right. So we're going to go with some stuff that I had to take in there. Vehicle registration. Uh lease agreement oh shucks i don't want to show too much but this whole thing is my lease agreement uh i'm running the semi so anything 55,000 pounds and more you need a 2290 so let's see let's see here we go 2290 haven highway text I, I did this on e-file, so just go on e-file, type your VIN number, your company name, address, blah, 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 pay the fee. So I had to bring in a copy of uh, my insurance, truck insurance. I had to bring in my IFTA registration. I had to bring in three forms of ID. So... You can do your driver license, your vehicle registration. I use a driver license and two different vehicle registration. Uh, if you don't have those three forms of ID, you need a driver license and two separate bills. So like electric bill and a gas bill. And you need three consecutive months of each. So what this money is October so you need August September October gas bill August September October electric bill so you can do that in your license so either that or three forms of ID like uh, license vehicle registration with your address on it etc also you need the company that you if you if you set up a IRP account and you're going to be leased to somebody, you need their DOT number, their MC number, and you need their tax ID number, their EIN number, same thing. Tax ID, EIN, same thing. Uh, so you'll have to get there from the company that you're leasing to. And I think that is it. I was not looking to spend $1,300, I can tell you that. I thought I was going to spend like five or $600, so I had to leave and go to the bank and everything else, and man, this is not a good time for me to be spending that kind of money, so I really need to make that back because I just had to spend a lot of money on my, <clears throat> my baby's three-year-old birthday party that we'll be having tomorrow so like a lot of money so peace